Hi, my name is Matthew Adams. I'm a solution architect here at Elastic and today I want to talk about cross-cluster replication and what's new in 6.6. .6. So, cross-cluster replication is a great feature. allows you to sync data between two clusters. Uh, useful for many different use cases. Uh, but to show that off, I'm going to need to build two clusters. So, here I've created an environment on my machine where I have uh, two one-node clusters uh, each with a dedicated Kibana instance. So I'm going to create those two clusters uh, running on different ports. I'm going to call one of them remote and one of them local. I'm just going to start those uh, Elasticsearch nodes up now. And then I can start the Kibana instances which are pointed at those nodes. So I'll essentially have two completely separate clusters running on my machine. Now cross-cluster replication is a commercial feature so to be able to use it, we'll need to uh, enable the trial. So if you go in Kibana to Management and License Management, then you'll be able to enable the trial on the cluster and use all the commercial features. So let's do that in the two clusters we've built. So on the first cluster, we're going to enable the trial. And then we'll move over to the second cluster and do exactly the same thing. So now we've enabled the trial on the two clusters. What we can now do is go to the brand new cross-cluster replication user interface in 6.6 and that's in the management tab. So into, into management and then click on the cross-cluster replication tab. Now to be able to set up your first replication job you need to set up a remote cluster. So you get to name the cluster, here I'm going to call it remote and then you get to give the location of that cluster here it's localhost and I'm going to give it the transport port which is 9400 and then I'm going to save that configuration and that will save my remote cluster and then I can add an auto follow pattern for that cluster in this case I'm going to um, automatically sync metric beat data so I'm going to call it metric beat and then I'm going to put the pattern in that I want to follow so in, as in normal with metric beat data metric beat star and I want to add a suffix, a uh, prefix actually, so that I know which data has been replicated to this cluster. So I'm going to add rep as a, as a prefix to these, to these indexes. If I save that pattern now, you'll see that I've got that saved. I can review it later. But if I go to my actual index management page, you'll see I don't have any indexes at the moment. So now what I need to do is launch metric beat, pointing at my remote cluster. So what I've had to do in metric beat to enable cross-cluster replication is to change the template settings to allow soft deletes and there's documentation about how to do that and soft deletes will be default in the future but soft deletes are required for cross-cluster replication so I'm going to start metric beat I'm going to look at the remote cluster which is pointed at and you'll see the metric beat index appear shortly so you'll now see that metric beat index has been created we'll immediately switch back to the local cluster and you'll see it's immediately synced that index over to the local cluster with the prefix rep. So you can see data is already flowing in immediately. It was very, very quick and easy to configure. And we've now essentially got live data or nearly live data flowing into our local cluster via the remote cluster. We can access that data just as you would any other index. So obviously if we want to look at that data and discover, we'll need to set up an index pattern. So we can in go to index patterns and then you can select the uh, index pattern, the index name. So in this case, it's metric beat data, but unfortunately I, I've forgotten that we need the prefix of rep. So let me just fix that. We'll need to go back and just change to rep metric beat. And now you can see that we are selecting the right index click next and then select the timestamp and now we've got our working index pattern now if we go to discover we'll be able to see that replicated data flowing in live just as if uh, metric beat was pointed locally so hopefully you found this interesting um, and definitely it's a very easy way to set up cross cluster replication so it'll be a much easier getting started experience with a dedicated user interface thanks for listening and have fun.